Hello, my name is Matt Nolf. I'm with PNG Technologies out of Michigan. We're a supplier of propane and natural gas kits for generators. Today we're going to be showing you the Duramax XP12000EH. This is the dual fuel hybrid elite series. Uh, this has the 18 horsepower engine in it. Now this one's already set up for propane from the factory and we get a lot of calls to be able to run them on natural gas. We also do still carry the propane kit for these if it's the gasoline series. So we'll show you the custom kit here and show you how to set this up on natural gas and uh, we'll go ahead and get started on that. Okay, now in our first step, I kind of want to just show you this is their propane regulator that they have here. So when you're running our natural gas system, um, we're obviously going to put an adapter in here. Um, you want to make sure that this is capped off so it doesn't suck vacuum on you. So now if this regulator ever fails on you, I've tried to search them out. I can't find them. Um, I've been doing this a long time and I just can't seem to get a hold of any of these. So if this ever fails and you still want to run your propane with the natural gas kit, when we mount the regulator here, if you buy our propane kit for this, it will include the high pressure regulator that you can mount to a 20 pounder or up to a 100 pounder with it. So we'll go ahead and show you the steps on this. Okay, first what we're going to do is go ahead and remove our air breather tube here going to your gasoline tank. Just kind of tuck that to the side. We'll go ahead and pull this tube out here. Just kind of tuck that back up out of your way too. And you have a, vape, a vibration bracket uh, nut back here. We'll go ahead and remove that and get that out of our way. And this will be all the steps on the back of the unit. And then we'll uh, go ahead and show you the next steps on the front of the unit there. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and remove our air cleaner cover here. Set that to the side. This will fall out on you, so you might as well get it out of your way. This other one kind of stays back in there pretty good. Now you got six outer nuts on here. We're going to remove that. That's your center uh, air cleaner cover, and this is with eight millimeter. So we'll go ahead and take those off. And these over here, at least this bends a little bit, so you can get over here and get the socket in them. And we got two more here. Alrighty, get that. We'll set that to the side and we'll show you the next steps. Okay, now that we've removed our center air cleaner section here, we're going to go ahead and remove the two nuts that hold the back plate on. And that is with 10 millimeter. Um, you can get on the back side of this here and just loosen them up. Get this one here, loosen that, and then you can just spin them out by hand. And we'll get this one off here, pull this off, and now that will remove your back piece. And we'll go ahead and show you the next steps. Okay, now what we're going to do is get ready to install our slim adapter on here, okay? Now, in order for us to do that, obviously, we're pulling this carburetor or the air cleaner out away. So it's going to be close to the frame here. So what we got to do is we're going to remove this. You will not reinstall this back on here. We'll supply you two new gaskets. So just go ahead and set that to the side. You're going to pull your gasoline carburetor away from the engine block. All right. Now, make sure you don't hit this gasket back there. What you're going to do is you're going to get vice grips. Okay. And we only need to turn these out about three turns, okay? When you do this, make sure you lock down pretty good, good down on them. And don't just turn it. You want to pop it loose, okay? And then just go ahead and turn them out about two or three turns on each side. Um, it's easier to kind of turn these upside down on the back side. 
and do the same thing back there. Lock them down and bring them out a little bit, and then you'll see where your clearance is. You might have to come back and readjust it, but most of the time you pull them out three turns, you're good shape. So we'll go ahead and do that, and we'll slide that back, and we'll show you the next steps. All right, now that we've got our studs pulled back, okay, I've checked it a couple times. There's enough clearance for me to install this back on and feel comfortable with the amount of threads I have left on the nuts. So let's go ahead and get our new gasket installed. Let's install our adapter on there. Okay, the other gasket. And then we'll go ahead and get your back cover set up there. Now obviously your vibration nut in the back is gonna be pulled away. We'll show you them steps when we get to the back. So let's go ahead and get this on there. And basically you're just reversing what you did now. You're just putting everything back together on this side. I mean, it's it's that simple and very easy to do. The, the toughest part is, again, probably pulling the studs out. I've had a few people say they've had a hard time with them. Sometimes you gotta soak them down a little bit with some oil or something like that. But most of the time, I did a lot of these. I haven't do that a lot. So we'll go ahead and show you the next steps. All right, we got our back cover on. We'll go ahead and get this all ready. Put our center one on here. And again, like I said, that back here is a little bit tougher. I kind of just start them in on this side just to kind of hold it back for me. Just kind of hand snug them for now. Makes it a little easier when you come to the other side. And these ones here, you just gotta kind of feed with your hands at first. Just kind of get them up in there, get them started. Get this one on here. Tight little tight fit in there, that's for sure. Once you get it started, you're all right. And of course, I got a stubborn one here. I said that kind of bends back, so all right, got that one started there. Go ahead and get our last one down here. We'll go ahead and snug all those down. more here and then that'll finish up that step. Yeah, let's just go and check on it. I felt a loose on me. Alrighty, go ahead and put back on the foam pad. It's the easy one to come out. The inside normally in good shape. Now it is a little tight in here. It does go on and off. Just move it around a little bit, get her set. And you can still do your PM obviously. You know, and we'll go ahead and show you the remainder of the steps. All right, now that we've got everything installed on the front, we'll go ahead and get our stuff on the back that we need. Um, you can see we got pretty pretty much good clearance for everything. Now you can see back here how this is pulled out. Now what I do is get you a 9 16 wrench, loosen up the bolt that's holding that vibration bracket up, and see how that'll pull forward right for you. And then that way you got that back there and it secures your air cleaner still for you. I tighten this one down first. Go ahead and lock that down. Here we go. And then go ahead and tighten this back here. The nut for the back of the bolt. Go ahead and slide our hoses back over here. Get your air breather back in there. Goes right in, no problems at all. Go ahead and get that back on there and pull your clamp back over. 
and that's as much as that installation is as far as the adapter okay now that we've got everything installed here we're going to go ahead and mount our regulator assembly now this will all be pre uh, set for you here now we set the power elbows as close as we can here but every gas meter is different every setting is different um, we get you close into the hunt at least start it your primer buttons on the back of here um, to give you a little quicker start you know so we'll go ahead and we're going to mark off we're going to the center of this bar here we're going to mount it up here we don't want to mount it down here because of the wheel kit and all that so we'll get it up here we're going to come off the side of the frame two inches make a mark and then we're going to measure over five and three quarters of an inch for our center to center for our regulator mount what i do is i take a punch that way my drill bit doesn't wobble on me let's go ahead and make you a mark there get you a mark down here and we'll go ahead and drill them holes out now your gas tank is back here so be careful you don't punch her all the way through if you're uncomfortable with stopping the drill get you a piece of wood or something up there but we'll go ahead and i'm drilling these out five sixteenths just to give me a little play so we'll go ahead and i'll show you that step here in just a minute okay now we'll go ahead and get these drilled out and it's thin tube so it doesn't take much it's the back one you got to worry about clean them up and we'll show you how to mount the regulator on there all right now that we've got them cleaned up what we'll go ahead and do is we'll supply you the hardware for this also um, go ahead and get that lined up there just kind of hold them up with your hands and we'll give you the flat washer lock washer and that for the back might be easier to come from this side That one started on there. And we'll get our last one up here. And I let, what, the reason I kind of went over the side is you can still get to your spark plug here. You're going to change that. Um, if you decide you want to mount it over a little bit farther, then you'll just have to move it when you do a spark plug change. But All right, we'll go ahead and hold that up and we'll lock this down. Alrighty, we're good to go. We will show you the next okay, step. Okay, now on our last step here, we're going to just go ahead and get our hose connected up here. And we'll get that tightened down. And, and that's as easy as it is. It's, there's not much to it. I mean, you don't really need a whole lot of tools. You know, and we'll go ahead and get this set up now and we'll uh, hook the natural gas up to it. Alright, now we've got everything set up. Okay. Now, when you buy the natural gas kit from us, we do not supply the natural gas hose because we don't know the length. We sell it, um, and the ones we carry is all Parker. Now, if you notice, if you could see in there, it's all open orifice. Um, there's no stems. Um, everything is all open. Um, a lot of people try to buy the other stuff off the Internet um, that has a stem in the middle of these they will not work for natural gas. Now, as far as running a grill or uh, a furnace or something outside, you got a little barbecue pit thing, um, that's fine for that. But when it comes to a combustionable engine, they will not work. They'll starve out the engine. So you gotta have the open orifice. So if you buy the, the hose from us, we'll supply you all the fittings to connect to all this, okay? And we'll give you the compound for it. Um, obviously, we use a bigger tube here, but um, we'll supply you either the tape or the uh, liquid compound. Um, you go ahead and install, the, and this comes with the hose, all this. You'll put your mail end on here. Go ahead and tighten that up. 
Now, again, you're dealing with six ounces of pressure here. It's not like you've got hundreds of PSI on here. So just go ahead and snug her down good. You don't want to get too crazy with it. All right. And we'll go ahead and connect this up. We'll get our natural gas on and we'll go ahead and run this in the next step. Okay, we've got everything hooked up, all our fuel on. Now I loosened this up here so I can get an adjustment. Like I said, and we'll set these as close as we can. Most of the time I can get them to fire right away. Sometimes I have to play with them. There's a, <coughs> excuse me, a manual primer button on the back of this. Go ahead and hit that. Give it a shot of fuel. Go ahead and crank this over. the steps on that alrighty that shows you the natural gas steps on the Duramax uh, XP 12,000 EH again this is the dual fuel model uh, from the factory um, now again um, we told you about the connections to the natural gas uh, being very crucial that you use the open quick connects and again if the regulator ever fails you on this side of their system this is what you'll get with the propane kit and then we'll supply you a bushing here and then this would go to this setup here, and then you'd run this to a tank. Now, we give you enough here, you can hook up to 100 pounds or so. Um, I hope this video helped out a lot. Um, I appreciate all the comments I've been getting on the videos. Um, this has been helping a lot, trying to do the custom kits. And again, these are set up for this unit. So if you're interested in purchasing the kit from us, you can go to our website at uh, pngtechnologies.com, or we could be reached at 734 992-2648. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day.